Hey bud, Sarah here, the Chronic Crafter. Thanks for joining me in this video where I'm going to show you how to glitterify. Is that a word? Glitterify? I don't think it is. A wooden box or rolling tray for your stoner kit. So you can buy these at any craft store or on Amazon. I'll have links to everything I use down in the description. So they come unfinished, so you're going to want a white acrylic paint to do a base coat and another colored acrylic paint as well to add some color. Optionally, you can also use these really fucking cool paints from Folk Art called Color Shift, which does what they say. The Color Shift, this one goes from like red to blue to purple. It looks super sweet and it's really easy to do as well. So other than the paint and the box, you will also need some Mod Podge. This one I have is gloss because I like glossy things. And you're going to need some glitter as well. You're going to want some like fine glitter. If you want, you can get some cannabis glitter from my Etsy store. Link down below. Anyways, here is the little wooden rolling tray that I did up that I'm going to be showing you how I painted this in the video. So let's just get right into it. I almost forgot the chronic part of this chronic crafting. So let's have a bone dope. There we go. Much better. <clears throat> Where was I? Um, first step, base coat. Second step, you are going to put your colored paint down. Sound is so bad. No. No. Ew, this paint is old. You're nasty. Depending on the color and quality of your paint, you might need to do two coats. As you can see, this one is kind of like streaky and crappy looking. If you want a easy way to speed up the drying process, use a hair dryer. It's amazing. I hate nothing more than like painting something and then waiting around. Third step, color shift. After applying the acrylic paint and the color shift paint, it was time to add my glitter. This is also super easy to do. So to coat my tray, I'm going to be using some Mod Podge. I also have some hollow glitter that I'm going to be mixing with the Mod Podge, some iridescent flakes, and of course some cannabis glitter. I'm going to start by pouring some of my Mod Podge into my container just a nice amount don't need to be too crazy if we don't have enough we can always mix up some more so we're gonna do a big splash of hollow little splash of iridescent flakes and a big dose of cannabis leaves all right let's mix all that up okay I think I might throw in a little bit more Mod Podge just because it kind of seems like I put a lot of glitter. Give that a good mix up and then it's going to be time to paint it on. All right, there we go. So you can just use your normal paintbrush for this. Let's start with the bottom. I'm just taking care to make sure none of the leaves are too bunched up and that they are evenly distributed across the bottom. So after I got in this, I realized a more effective way to get the cannabis glitter on this probably would have been to just mix the hollow with the Mod Podge and then do a coat and then just like stick on the cannabis leaves individually so they went exactly where I wanted them. I was going for a nice even coverage of cannabis leaves all over and that was kind of hard to do when I was just like slathering on a mixture of cannabis leaves and Mod Podge. So yeah, if you're gonna do this, I suggest don't do what I did, do what I say. <laughs> Mod Podge, glitter, the entire thing. You can also use a blow dryer in between to dry the Mod Podge. You will know it's dry when it goes from like a cloudy color to like a clear glossy color. Just a little tip. So yeah, it's as easy as that. If you want to do this craft, then look down in the description and there's a link to a bunch of products on Amazon that I used in this video 
Or of course you can just go to your local craft store, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and pick up these items as well. This was the first craft that I used my cannabis glitter with and I'm just so excited about it. I have been wanting cannabis glitter forever and I'm so happy that I finally got my hands on some. If you want some cannabis glitter as well, look down in the description and there's a link to my Etsy store where I have some for sale and you can cover your own wooden tray or stash box with cannabis glitter too. Thanks for joining me in this video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the process or anything, just leave them down below and I'll get back to you as well. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and we will see you again soon. Bye!